Nick Taylor, who owns Up the Creek Records here in Walnut Creek, says he started selling skateboards inspired by his 15-year-old daughter, Sky, who wanted her own board but couldn't find the right one. I wanted to buy her a board that had a girl skateboarder on it, and I went to the local shop, and they just didn't have anything. <laughs> Most of the boards on the wall were either had drug or alcohol references, or the graphics were frankly kind of offensive. And if you're a beginner like Sky, it can be embarrassing to ask questions. Most skate shops, you know, it's filled with teenage boys who are really good at it and it's really intimidating to go in there as a girl who's just starting and really doesn't know anything about skateboards. Which is why they want to welcome everyone to their shop. Beginners, girls, and queer skaters. For me, skateboarding was never about doing the best tricks or being the gnarliest person out there. It was just about the joy and the fun and the, the, the personal expression in skateboarding. Plugging your headphones in, listening to music, gliding down the road, it's why the tailors say selling records and skate gear go hand in hand. Music and skating, just it's a perfect match, you know. Um, every skateboard video you've ever watched has a, has a song playing in the background and it's an important part of the, the expression of skateboarding feels like flying. It's awesome. You just feel kind of free. In Walnut Creek, Carrie Hudasek, KCBS.